part of the IPL dataset visualization. We will now see how uh, so far we have rendered this dummy uh, visualization with some sample data set. Now we will try to see how to actually uh, get the real IPL uh, data into this particular visualization. So for that, uh, what we will need is uh, to prepare the data in the first place. Okay, so for that, what we will do is uh, first of all, we will we will need the data uh, for the uh, for the IPL uh, matches over the last 10 years. So let's bring that in. So uh, so we have two CSV files here. The sources are available in the project description. So we will just copy uh, this directory into our current uh, project. So let's bring that in. So I'm going to copy all the files uh, that are present in, what's the name of the directory? Okay, CSV data. CSV data to um, okay, archive, archive and IPL inside IPL. This is where we want it. So once we do that, we see that the data with uh, both the files are now present inside uh, directory, which is what we want. So we have this data. Now, how do we uh, um, how do we move this particular data to the front end? So one thing that we've seen is that uh, the high charts library does not, cannot understand CSV as is. What it needs is an object. So our first task is to start thinking about how can we uh, tra uh, transform this particular CSV data to JSON. So there's, again, we will rely on an existing uh, node module for this, conveniently named as uh, CSV to JSON. So if we look at the uh, fully uh, completed project and look at its dependencies, you will see that along with the HTTP server, CSV to JSON uh, library is also used. So that's what we will do. We will install CSV to JSON and then we can start reading uh, this particular files and then get data out of that. Okay. So we'll go to our projects, archive, IPL, and then we will install this time npm install csv let me see if i'm getting it right csv to json okay csv to json save so json here stands for uh, javascript object notation which is uh, a way to serialize uh, serialize data and uh, it's quite common when it when we are talking about the browser context it is very similar to how you represent objects in javascript Okay, the module is now installed. And we should now be able to see that also as a dependency, this is our project directory, and we also have now seen CSV to JSON as one of the dependencies in our project. After that, so let's create a new file now, which we will call as uh, index.json, which will be a starting point uh, for our uh, project, which is our project backend. We'll call it index.js. Um, okay, so this, so all the files that are outside of the public directory uh, will will comprise of the backend part of this particular project and then whatever is there in public is what gets executed in the browser. This is something that is very important for you to understand uh, the difference between what files are relevant inside the browser and what files are relevant uh, outside of it. So all the files and folders that we create outside of public folder is uh, is going towards preparing uh, that final data.json that we will need for our final visualization okay so as part of that uh, now that we have our index.js let's try and read uh, this uh, csv data in this file as a first step so for that uh, let's open up the completed project okay and i'm heavily relying on this because i don't want to uh, kind of repeat the code as far i mean my goal here from this exercise is for you to follow what's happening and then uh, you can do the same exercise by yourself so we'll first require the csv to json library and after that we will have to uh, read it so one way of doing that is we can also execute it directly which is what we'll do first and then uh, later we will wrap that further in a different function so csv from file matches file path is not yet defined so we'll define that so we'll have to tell uh, specify to the csv library where this 
a particular file exists from so typically what happens is when you import a new library you'll have to look at its documentation i'm skipping that part so if you look at csv to json uh, npm module it will uh, we can go and look at its documentation and then you will see all the features that are available <clears throat> search for from file this is how uh, the library is supposed to be used so you use you call the library then you give it the file path and then you should have the JSON objects as simple as that so we come back and then uh, we give it the file path so we say const minus file path equal to uh, CSV data so we'll just copy that here as it is because we are following the same uh, folder structure okay right so now uh, without actually I don't have these functions yet now the first thing that I want to verify is I just want to console log matches this will make sure that whether we are uh, actually have we are we using have we given it the right path so this will help us understand that so I'm going to just slice uh, to the first five uh, elements and this time to run that particular file so uh, for this is common for any uh, programming language is if you want to execute a file you generally say node or python and then you give the name of the file so node index.js so now we have the first five matches that are there we can even console log uh, the length so we should see five okay so this is how uh, using so we don't have to worry about uh, reading the csv file line by line and getting this data the csv to json library uh, will help us do that and will give us uh, the data as a nice array of objects and then with this object has the same representation of the csv data which is uh, it has the key id which are all the column names and that particular rows information so this is very convenient for us to do uh, subsequent uh, computation so now what we have done in this step is that we are using the csv to json library and from using that library we are reading the data from uh, the csv directory which is right now the matches data and then we'll have an array of all the matches played and from this point onwards we can call other functions uh, from here uh, to compute uh, further uh, like calculations so this is uh, what we're also doing here is uh, something called as like javascript asynchronous code which is uh, why we use dot then uh, for now you can assume that okay first javascript takes some time to read the file and then it the matches are available okay so we will go into the asynchronous javascript uh, uh, concepts a bit later but this should suffice uh, for now so one now that we have, have now that we have uh, the matches data now what we have further done is that usually uh, in a program you have a function called main which will initiate uh, initialize the whole project so this is what uh, we've done in the given project structure. So I'm going to uh, wrap this particular uh, function of reading the data in a function called as main, and then we will invoke it in, instead of uh, invoking CSV file directly. So that if we need other op operations to be done, uh, we can do that. This is just a convention. Even calling CSV uh, directly will also work. So doing this, let's execute our code once again and then see if uh, the main function works as expected. Yes, it does. So this is something that I will also encourage you to do, which is from time and again, every time you write a small snippet of code, you test it and then you go uh, further. Okay, so the main function is now wired up, which, uh, and all it does is it reads the matches uh, CSV file and gives, us, gives it to us as a nice uh, array of objects, where the keys are uh, the different column names, uh, like you can see here. These are the column names in the original CSV and the data associated, the values associated with those keys are the information coming from that particular uh, row. This is the original project and you can see main here and we're slowly uh, building our project to the same uh, stage. Okay, so now that we have matches uh, data, we can actually compute uh, save matches, uh, matches played per year. And for that, uh, what we've done is that we've created, so we want to keep our files uh, small. So for that, we don't want to write all of our functions into the same file. Uh, we can split all of our functions 
uh, into a separate directory so it's easier for us to manage so to do that what we will now do is create a directory called uh, IPL uh, not inside CSV data we want it to be outside so at this stage we'll create another directory called IPL and then inside that we'll create a new file called as uh, matches plate per year matches plate per year dot js okay and then in this file we have this function which if it gets matches it has this uh, uh, algor algorithm to actually compute the matches plate per year i leave it to you to uh, figure out that that it is indeed the case so once we have that now we will try and import we will try to import that particular function that we've just defined inside our index.js so so far we have required or imported libraries that have already been written uh, these are like imp that we've gotten from the third party or from the npm directory now we are going to import something that we ourselves have defined in a different uh, directory so for that again the the format is the same we say const uh, matches played Plate per year equals require and we because this is not a third party module we have to give the full path to where that particular uh, file is located so dot slash IPL IPL and then matches plate per year matches plate per year so now we should have access to that particular function right so once we have that uh, we can actually compute the matches played per year and see if it works. So I'm going to say console log and all matches pl played per year needs is an array of matches which we already have uh, here, right? So let's console log that and then see if we get the data like we expected. Okay, well, wow, that's neat, right? So all we've done so far is that we've created a separate file uh, with the actual computation, imported it in index.js and then uh, call that particular function with the matches array. So it gives us this neat object, uh, which gives us like 2008 is 58, 2009, 57, etc. Okay, so we have actually computed uh, the result that we need for our visualization. Now the next step after this is to actually write this particular object that we've just computed using matches played per year to an actual file. So for that, uh, we have written a separate function, which is save matches played per year. So you can even just call it uh, save data and then you can just call save data with your particular information and it will add and it will write that particular, it will write that data into uh, a file. That's what this function does. So to write uh, a data into a file, you, we require this module called as FS, uh, which stands for file system, I think. And uh, this is an inbuilt node module. So instead of relying for this library from a third party, we, this is actually inbuilt into uh, the Node.js environment itself. So we will uh, import that particular library. And then we'll write a separate function. This time this, the role of the, the responsibility of this function is to write whatever uh, data we pass to it to an actual file. So here uh, to the JSON output file path and we want the output file path to be inside the public directory because we want that uh, data to be accessible by the browser. So that's what this particular function save matches played per year uh, is doing. Okay, so once we have computed, so instead of, uh, so the way we will use this is we will assign it to a variable called result and then call uh, save matches played per year with that result. So I'm going to say const or rather let result equals this and save this result to a file. And then I'm going to call a save result, which is defined here. And what this is going to do is it will take the result, put it in a object where the key is matches played per year. The reason why we're not directly passing the result is eventually we will add other results here. Uh, which we want to add to this final JSON data. Uh, so hence we are creating a separate key called matches plate per year. And then later we stringify it so that it can be written to a file. Uh, so it will transform the JavaScript object to a string, which can then be uh, represented in a file. And then finally, we use the inbuilt FS module to write that uh, content to a file. 
add the json output file path so right so far we haven't defined the json output file path so i'm going to now define it and as expected we are uh, it's going to be inside the public directory why because we want the browser to be able to access it so once we have that so now this time when i run node index.js i expect a new file called data.json to be uh, written inside the public directory with uh, the completed matches played per your object okay it's done so i come back and inside the public directory i now have this nice uh, data.json file okay and this is not the original uh, folder so the original folder also has a data.json but our folder also now has a data.json i hope you are able to follow that so now that we have this data.json it's still not available inside a browser for that we have to uh, fetch this particular uh, file from our app.js script which is what actually gets executed so let's look at that code now so this is the uh, fully built uh, app.js file and here you'll see that uh, we have this function called fetch and visualize data and this function is what gets called uh, in the app.js this is the only function that gets called right so let's just write co just copy this function and i will copy it partially so instead app.js uh, let this high chart uh, visualization be as is and i'm going to first uh, fetch this data.json and instead of doing visualize data i'm just going to do console log okay so i'm going to pass console log as a function itself and this will be uh, in invoked with the actual uh, json representation of that file so let's let's just execute and see i think it's too much to follow okay so now if i uh, refresh the page i have this matches played per year object showing up in my browser why is this happening because i'm now fetching uh, this is kind of similar to how we read the csv file from a directory but now we are going to fetch this particular file from this public directory it's like a network call and then whatever result uh, comes up we transform the string back to a json object in the initial uh, step in index.js we had to stringify it to write it to a file now when we are reading it from back from the file we have to convert it to an object uh, which is what we are doing in this step and once we have the object representation of it we are just logging it to the console as of now uh, which is this and then the next step will be to actually visualize it and for that uh, we have written a different function which is uh, visualize data with data and then for that we have written another helper function which will uh, prepare the uh, javascript object that is needed for the high charts to render and then finally we'll have series data okay so i'm going to now uh, copy both these functions which i'm going to use further so now what i'll do is i'll get rid of this uh, dummy visualization as soon as i do that my visualization here should disappear okay all right i'll do a hard refresh it's gone so now i will paste the rest of the code so what this is doing is it's preparing uh, it's calling this function to visualize and this function finally prepares the data as it is necessary for the high charts to render because it has to be in a certain format again i leave this as an exercise for you to find out exactly what that format looks like and how uh, the format inside this uh, data.json uh, can be transformed into that but i'll leave that as an exercise uh, for you and then after this step i think we should have the final ipl data uh, visualization do we have it no it looks like we have an error matches played per year is that the matches played per year okay let's try and debug what's happening fetch and visualize data okay because we are not calling the fetch and visualize data function here we were just calling console log so i'm just going to call fetch and visualize data visualize data so if i do it this time hopefully i should get my yep i have my visualization okay so this is how uh, one particular cycle or one cycle of how we solve the first question which is matches played per year and uh, this 
almost entirely completes uh, uh, what is needed for uh, all the information that's required for you to solve all the remaining problems. So uh, right from how you get the matches uh, information as well as deliveries information, you can do it similarly. And then once you have uh, both the CSVs read, you can further continue to write other helper functions inside the IPL library, import them inside index.js and continue uh, the same process. Okay. All right. So one final thing I think uh, that you might have uh, missed or that we may have missed is how do you, when you need both the deliveries as well as the matches data uh, together, you will have to, uh, so there's one very simple way of doing it is that instead of calling it one after another, that will not ensure that both will be accessible to you uh, simultaneously. You just do it one after another inside the then function. So let me give an example of what that means. So here I'm just going to copy the same thing to get the deliveries data. <clears throat> this is not best practice, but it will work. And then later we will refactor this to make the code look uh, much simpler. So you can do uh, deliveries file path, which we still don't have, but we will define it. Deliveries, and this has to be changed to deliveries. And then I'm going to, uh, this time we're going to have deliveries. And here you should have ideally now access to both uh, deliveries as well as matches. So if I do deliveries dot slice, maybe I just want to look at one particular object. And then generally I want to pass a string to make sure that this is the only uh, statement that I'm seeing. Okay, so this is the first delivery state. So I have now here you have access to both deliveries and matches. So you should be able to uh, call any of your functions that need either deliveries, matches, or both, and then try to answer the remaining uh, uh, the remaining questions. Once you have that, you can add the same object to result, and then instead now you, instead of calling this save matches played per year, you can just say save data, and then you can. Uh, from the result object you can read different uh, keys or you can straight away write the result object back into uh, back into the file okay i hope you've been uh, following uh, the explanation so far and uh, good luck with the rest of the questions